next? Easier to buck on the ground. It's pretty thick. And still, it's got a lot of flex. I wasn't sure how hackberry would behave, so they want to thin it out too much. Nice and flat on the sides. Big old palm swell. Performs more like a racing handle. center there well how you guys been we finally got a beauty spring day here and i just put together this gorgeous thing so this is a four pound dayton council tool it's been in my family since probably the 50s that's when they were cutting poles for the mine and they bought this with the splitter this is the felling axe i got the splitter still I used to have this on a Killinger French curve handle. I busted that over an extreme overstrike, but now I got it on this beautiful matte ball handle, laminated swell here. I thinned this down a bit, asked Matt to leave, leave it wider this direction to make it more racing style, and I love it. I miss this axe so much, and it's the perfect Dayton. Dayton's are the perfect axe, if you didn't know, for this wood. Hackberry wedge kind of messed up that hang a little bit. I was going to use hardwood and I busted the hackberry. It probably only went three quarters of the way down in the kerf, but that's okay. Look at that pole. Cleaned up the pole some. It's just a gorgeous, clean Dayton. Still has all the bit. Right at 20 degrees with the secondary bevel. Still holds up fantastic. And I'm just out here to do a little bit of chopping today. I got some chores to do. Uh, bad windstorm the other day, so I got to go repair the house and cut some grass, weed whack, farm chores, such as life, right? But right now, this morning on Mother's Day, happy Mother's Day, Mom. Hope you got the flowers. We're going to do some chopping, choppy, chop, chop. Let's get back at it. That one's already there. Come on, helps if you hit the right spot. There we go. Can't imagine these big guys are gonna pop that easy. Let's see. Oh, a boom! Big pop. I like it. It's the old Dayton. Good enough for the girls I go with. Let's go through here and see what I can pop first. There's a crack here. I think I can get that one. Got it. There we go. This whole 
hold them on for dear life. Look at it close right up. No match for the date. How's that, Maples? All right, guys, that's about all the time I have for chopping today. I'm going to take a leisurely walk around the woods here, look for some mushrooms, and then get to some farm chores. But I just wanted to test out this council tool on this handle, and I love it, man. I, I just, I miss this in my rotation, and I needed it for this bigger wood. So I'm glad I got it back in the rotation. I restacked my wood that I chopped down here this year. I'll show you guys what I got. Uh, I like to joke and say I'm the cordwood bird because I just go and shit little piles out everywhere I chop. I don't have one designated spot that I can chop, so I can't stack it all up in one area. So here's what I got down here at the moment. The newest stuff I just cut is right here. A lot of oak and maple, some walnuts, a lot of maple in here. Minus a little bit of saw cut ash down there. Ignore that. And then if I bring you guys around here... I got that, which is basically holding my bench up at this point. I need to remake that. And here's my stack of red oak up here. A little bit of this was from last year. Uh, I'd say probably half of that actually. So this would be this year's chopping up here. Nice little stack, cleanly cut red oak. And quite frankly, at this point in the game anyway, that's not my goal. My goal is just to get out, chop, have fun, test out some different axe patterns, tell you guys what I think, and ultimately just have a good time swinging an axe. I'm going to go look for some mushrooms, so if I don't see you, I'll see you when I see you.